Hello buddies, uh, welcome back to Capers Way. So it's been almost uh, two weeks since I uploaded a video on uh, Master Series. I hope you're enjoying my vlogs too. I have also been getting DMs on Instagram and LinkedIn uh, about which university did I choose and uh, whether I have started my visa process or not and uh, even uh, if I have started with my loan process. So all the questions will be answered in this video. Without any further delay, let's get into the video. first question I'm receiving on uh, Instagram DMs is which university did I fix on? The answer for that is I have still not decided which university to go as I'm uh, waiting for more decisions to come. I was waiting for other university decisions till March end but I have received none. For safety side I requested I-20s from both Arizona State University and Sunny Buffalo. I uploaded my bank summary statements, financial forms and financial documents everything on March 13th for Arizona State University and March 14th for Sunny Buffalo. Uh, so in the ASU portal they have given uh, it will take 5 to 7 business days for uh, processing the I-20 but during the peak times that is March and April it will take around 4 to 6 weeks to process I-20. So I still didn't get my I-20, I am waiting for ASU I-20. When it comes to Sunny Buffalo I have uploaded all the documents on March 14th and I have received my uh, I-20 on March 23rd. As of now I have my Sunny Buffalo I-20 with me. Another most frequent question I have been receiving on Instagram is whether you have to pay your tuition deposit for Sunny Buffalo to receive an I-20. That is completely false as I have not paid my tuition deposit but I received my I-20. And uh, the deadline for paying your deposit is May 1st for computer science branch. I don't know about other branches. And even the tuition deposit for computer science is $150 whereas for other branches like business analytics and some other branches they have $500 of deposit fee. So before you pay your deposit fee, uh, be sure that 100% you are going to that university since you will not be getting a refund if you are not uh, opting for that university. And the second most asked question uh, is whether I have started with my visa process and the answer for this is yes, I have started with my visa process. I have recently created an account and generated my DS-160 number. And I've also paid the amount that is $160 for the visa application fee. Uh, so I went to nearby Axis Bank branch and I've paid them $160. And I'll also be making a video on, on the whole process like how you have to you know create your visa application, uh, how you have to create your account, how you have to generate DS-160 and how you have to pay this $160 and even how you have to fill your DS-160. All these videos I'll be making so just uh, say, stay subscribed and uh, wait for these videos. So the $160 which you pay for the visa application fee that's only for the visibility of slots. Only after paying this $160 you can uh, book your slot. Before that uh, you cannot book. So kindly you know uh, wait for the universities but uh, you will be having some admits right one or two, ad one or two admits. So uh, decide a uh, college from that and you know pay this 160 dollars play visa slot as soon as possible later if you want you can change your university so when it comes to me uh, i don't have asu i20 so i'm going with sunny's i20 and i have paid 160 dollars so now i'm looking for visa slots so as soon as i book one i'll update on this channel and i will also update the whole process how to book a visa slot how to create an account how to fill the ds160 everything so don't worry so the answer for second question is I have started my visa process, I have paid the $160 uh, with Sunny Buffalo I-20 and if I receive any other decisions, I will be changing and even if I book a slot, I will update on this channel. The third question which is very popular, even my parents ask me daily whether you have received any other decisions. So the answer to this question is no, I have not received any new decisions, not even from Rutgers, uh, Texas A&M, uh, Purdue, University of Minnesota, Twin Cities and UIC. I think Purdue they have released uh, all their decisions so maybe I think it's a reject. Maybe uh, they will be releasing the rejects in May. So I am still just waiting for Texas A&M and, &M. and uh, I heard that even Texas A&M uh, many people got their MSCS and MCS both their decisions. So maybe I guess even that's a reject I don't know still I am waiting for official uh, confirmation from them. So TAMU, uh, Purdue, uh, I don't know University of Minnesota uh, they have not released any decisions. And UIC, UIC they have released some decisions but I don't know I didn't get one. Even for Rutgers many of my friends they have got their decisions but I still didn't receive my decision I don't know why. I asked them they told by March end you will be getting. I didn't get I again mailed them. Uh, they told me in two weeks you will be getting so I'm just waiting. I don't know whether they have uh, waitlisted my profile so I'm just waiting for them. So Tamu, Minnesota, Rutgers, UIC and Purdue I'm waiting for this. 
and as you all know i have received asu sunny buffel admits northeastern university and virginia tech rejects so that's it i didn't get any admits or rejects other than these uh, four universities so the fourth question uh, which everyone wants to know is uh, whether i have started my loan process and the answer for this is yes i started my loan process and i approached uh, two banks sbi and bank of baroda but from sbi i was uh, not receiving that fast response because i was uh, planning to go with collateral loan so they have to do uh, the valuation uh, like what is the value of that collateral in the market everything so sbi is bit slow in that process so i approached bank of baroda they have already evaluated uh, the collateral and uh, the process is going on like i have not fixed on bank of baroda but as of now i am going with bank of baroda like if i get any other university maybe i may change to other uh, banks i may prefer other banks so as of now i am going with bank of baroda since the evaluation of my collateral is everything is over so based on my profile they have to just give me what is the interest rate and uh, and uh, the amount which they are going to sanction so i am just waiting for uh, that update from them so all the questions the first one did i fix my university no if i fix i'll be making a video on that and the second question is did i start my visa process yes i have started and if i get a visa slot and how to book a visa slot ds160 how to fill that everything i'll be making video and the third one did i receive any additions no and if i do i'll be updating on this channel and the fourth question is did i start my loan process yes i have started and i'll be giving clear cut idea about everything about this loan process in my upcoming videos so that's it for this video guys when it comes to vlogs i have been recently posting my hyderabad vlogs and still you will be getting around 2 to 3 i think 3 to 4 videos of hyderabad vlogs will be getting and one more uh, small uh, doubt i have is that whether uh, you people want my vlogs in uh, english or telugu just comment down below i am comfortable with uh, any language so if you want english i'll go with that if you want telugu i'll go with that or if you want a mixture of both i'll be doing that so that's it for this video guys uh, stay tuned for my next videos i'll be constantly posting uh, videos related to master series so i have also decided my next location trip so you will also be getting vlogs along with master series videos so as of now i'll be posting hyderabad vlogs later i'll be posting that other location vlogs also uh, you can know in my upcoming videos there's a lot of content coming up related to master series and vlogs and uh, i'm also on my way to reach 1k subscribers and this all because of your support i am very blessed uh, i i can just say that because 1k subscribers is very huge for me maybe by this month end or maybe by this week or next week i'll be reaching 1k subscribers so it was all just possible because of your support and uh, i'm very much thankful to you people and also like the video since uh, these videos will be helpful for others also so subscribe to my channel uh, and stay tuned for uh, huge co content coming up take care see you in the next one bye bye